Five people have been found dead on the streets of Salt Lake City this week. Tonight, there will now be nearly 100 more shelter beds available in the hopes of preventing more of these deaths. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson explains the emergency declaration to expand homeless shelter capacity and what advocates say is still missing from the plan. And my heart goes out to everyone who knew and loved and work to serve uh, the unsheltered individuals who've passed away in just the few days here in Salt Lake City. Five people allegedly froze to death in the past five days, all while homeless shelters have reached capacity. This morning I signed an emergency order authorizing the homeless resource centers in Salt Lake City to further expand their capacity and that's effective immediately. Mayor of Salt Lake City Aaron Mendenhall issuing an emergency declaration to allow homeless resource centers in the area to expand by 25 beds. Mendenhall says mayors in both South Salt Lake and Mill Creek are planning to sign similar emergency orders Tuesday. Their combined emergency efforts will add 95 more available beds. I checked in with Pamela Atkinson, a homeless advocate in the area, to see if she thinks the government acted soon enough. I, I just really think however much we plan and we have over 300 extra beds and it's going to be increased to more, that the number of unsheltered people coming into Salt Lake T City has increased. She says that's more overflow availability than ever before in Salt Lake City. She does say she is concerned about how the shelters are going to be able to handle more intake. Because of the emergency declaration, now these extra beds, <clears throat> part of the problem is, is there enough staff? When you talk to the staff at these resource centers, they are sometimes overwhelmed and they're burned out and um, many of them get a call to come in and work overtime. Utah's homeless coordinator Wayne Niederhauser says the state is providing funding to expand the shelters, but Niederhauser admits it won't be easy to find them. Staffing is one of our biggest issues right now and it highlights the need for us to rally around the governor's budget. He says they need more funding. Atkinson agrees and says there also needs to be a more permanent fix of affordable housing options and mental health resources for a variety of people. She says it's going to take every Salt Laker getting involved. It's not just government. It's got to be private as, as well. That's the only way we're going to achieve the ultimate goals of having enough affordable housing, having enough food and not having any unsheltered people. In Salt Lake City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.